Hello, Impala LFX 13. Today it's going to be a general info video about Prolong Super Lubricants, Anti Friction Metal Treatment, Super Duty. Um, have the oil analysis for those who are very curious. Um, made in the USA. This is a gallon jug. I got it from uh, Amazon. And the company who makes it, it's Gold. Golden West Lubricant, as you can see that, made in California. Um, this actually you could add up to 10% by volume the crankcase, which, which is a lot compared to other um, other um, lubricant concentrate. They usually you just put, let's say, an ounce per quart or 1.2 ounce per quart or whatever, some less, uh, but. Let me go straight to the numbers. Uh, I high, basically nothing much are the wear metals. Contaminant, same thing, nothing spectacular. Multi source, same thing, uh, one ppm of boron, which is nothing. But what's interesting, it's the additive metals. Um, if you look at calcium, barium, phosphorus, zinc, nothing much there. But magnesium is quite high. Uh, 1408 um, just um, magnesium for those who don't know just like calcium it keeps deposits or contamin contaminants suspended uh, so the filter uh, can catch it basically it makes those contaminants always move and and that's why it's important to have a good, good high quality oil filter to catch all those uh, deposits um and lately uh if you look at the um, logo behind a a oil quart you'll see sn sn plus sn plus um uh oils uh, usually will have the lower the calcium and um, increase the magnesium and one of the reason they did that is to fight the LSPI, basically the low spark pre-ignition. On turbo cars could be uh, very important. Um, so in a way it's a very specialized product. If you look at this Prolong, um, for those who uh, you know wanna combat LSPI, Another thing that's very interesting, it's the uh, CST, basically the viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Because this oil is very thick and I was expecting something like in the 12s or 14, like basically anything like a 10W40 or 15. Uh, here we go, I'll, I'll just pour some here and uh, I almost look like a 2050 oil. It's like... It's somewhat thick, and um, you could see the color and the smell. That's I don't know. It smells uh, magnesium-wise. <laughs> so anyway, so my plan is um, I want to get more of uh, those oil conditioning conditioners or, or pr protectors or whatever you want to call them treatments. And uh, what I might do is. Uh, Maybe get six of them or five more different. Maybe not test all like like I did with this one, but have a uh, quart of let's say of the same oil. I'm just gonna throw out like a AMS oil or uh, whatever it is, a quart of a uh, let's say a five W twenty, and add let's say an ounce to each quart. Shake it very well, and send a um, a sample. And see how does it change because I always already have a virgin oil analysis of that oil and see what does it change in that oil by adding a one ounce or whatever I'll try to follow at least a recommendation or be equal to and put one ounce and one ounce in each so if you have any suggestion uh, about other uh, oil treatment let me know a uh, motor quote quote will be for sure one of them uh, whatever else let me know and um, I'll do it. So take care and bye.